The so-called tolerant left is costing two Chicago residents their music store, all because they support President Donald Trump. We have owner Suzanne Monk and Alexander Duvel. They have been receiving threats from Chicago residents over their store, and now they're being forced to shut down their store. Suzanne and Alexander join me now. Nice to see you both this morning. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having Good us. Good morning. Suzanne, how do these threats start? Well, I attended the, uh, the rally at the UIC Pavilion that got shut down, and while my husband was discussing that online, we actually drew some attention from the left, and they outed us at that point as, as Trump supporters. And since that point, we have been receiving online threats, ratings wars, um, uh, just called every name in the book YouTube online, harassment. YouTube yeah. harassment. And uh, re recently what we've found is that they're actually even talking to other musicians and threatening people who would do business with us who didn't even vote for Trump. So uh, it's kind of a tragic situation. So, Alexander, the store, you guys sell musical instruments from, that you gather up around the world. What's happening to your store now in April? We're going to close down the retail operation, and uh, I do a lot of really, really uh, amazing repair work on a lot of exotic instruments. Uh, I'm, I plan on very much continuing all of that w wonderful uh, part of what we do uh, to serve our community. We uh, have every intention of doing as much as we can to continue all of those that kind of process. I teach. Um, I, I uh, definitely am a very, very Perform. sincere performer of live music, uh, ethnic musical instrument uh, specializing in. Would you guys hear, um, I mean, would people come into the store and say things to you? Yes is the answer. Um, friends of mine, sometimes some very, very long-term friends, uh, you know, ha, you know, took the time to come in and say one thing or another. If one, you know, one guy might be very in support but needing to be very quiet. Others really, really made me feel very much like I was just being becoming more of a liability uh, to them because they didn't, they couldn't associate or recommend my my shop to do business. Uh, simply because of their peer group being so so seriously anti-Trump that you know even associating with me was 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 going to be a problem. Uh, so it, it it made me think very very seriously about you know being so public and having such a such a really you know uh, beautiful shop, beautiful little you know brick and mortar yeah. shop to 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 create a space for people. Um, Suzanne, you mentioned, uh, Suzanne, you mentioned at the very beginning that this all started on Facebook when you went to that event and you started to sure. see these threats coming in on Facebook. Were you surprised by the response of your friends? I was surprised. Well, we, it started out with a lot of strangers and people I didn't know, but as it has gone on, it is surprising to see people that Alex has performed music with, uh, people that we've known I've had in my home uh, turn around and decide we're white supremacists, we're xenophobes. Not out of any evidence. The only evidence they have is that we voted for Donald Trump. So the store is going to move online right now. You're being forced to close down in the heart of the tolerant left's liberal, uh, liberal city, of Chicago. We've set up, you've set up a GoFundMe page, and Fox and Friends is going to link to that. It's called GoFundMe.com slash Music Store Rescue. If anyone wants to help kickstart your business again, because as you say, you've poured your entire life savings into this business. We're sorry to hear that this had to happen to you. Uh, we're going to link it up on foxandfriends.com. There's the GoFundMe page at the bottom of the screen if anyone wants to help. Uh, sorry to hear that this happened to you, Alexander and Suzanne. Thanks for waking up early with us. We appreciate it. Clayton, we appreciate you having us. Thank you so much. You bet.